Hi everyone. Ah, this feels so weird. Like I haven't done this in a while. I do at home vlogs, but I'm about to do a travel vlog. My mom is struggling with her suitcase. No, I think she made it. I'm about to do a travel vlog, which is crazy because I haven't done one in literally forever. Like obviously before the pandemic, even the last like vacation that I went on, I didn't even vlog it. So it's really been a long time. So basically for this vlog, my parents rented like a little log cabin by a lake, like in the forest, just a very like outdoorsy vibe. Um, I just packed, we're about to leave in like 20 minutes, so I figured I'd just do my intro here. Um, it's only like a two hour car drive from where I live, so like mini little road trip. And then, yeah, so I don't really know, we didn't really like plan anything. We don't have much plan because it's going to kind of be like a chill, relaxed trip. So I've brought a ton of books with me, I'm going to bring my Switch with me. I've brought a big old bag of tea. That's going to be the four day weekend. Say Basanson road trip everyone. This is a road trip! And Lola's back there. Lola! We got this car packed to the gills. Can you, can you, hi! Aw, oh, sweetie, hello. got to the cabin and I'm gonna give you a little tour of the place and my room this one's my room and it's definitely <laughs> like such a modern like cute cabin out this way you can see the lake okay and then this is like our little upstairs hello kitchen eating area the bathroom this is the sitting area they've got like a little record player and records here and then the fireplace okay so this is like our back deck area down there we have a fireplace and then it leads like literally right to the wall. Downstairs there's another seating area. Okay. So here there's like literally two more rooms that we don't need, but downstairs is like another sitting area. This is like the front door though. Um, so this is where we come in and like this place is so cute. Look at this little marble table. And then this is the like not exactly kitchen, but like little barish kitchen, you know, like we can make coffee here, mini fridge. It's like super cute. Like I did not expect for a log cabin. Like it's this adorable. Okay, I'm gonna take you down to the water. We're going to look at the view. I'm just knocked down a cactus. Look how pretty this is. This is the water and it's a two second walk from the cabin. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. Okay, so I found my little spot here on this balcony. My dad is grilling. So, these, this is my book selection. Well, I brought more than this, but this is just what I'm reading right now. So I have this book that I've already started. Very nice. I started at the beach. So far, so good. And then for a second option, because my brain gets bored, so I need like <laughs> to switch through, I brought these two. So it's like, it's pretty chilly. It's not like that bad, but the sun is starting to set now, so it's really nice because you can see over there, but it's like already dark here, but the sun is really bright over there. It's so cute. Hi, buddy. There's a couple of them. There's a whole family. Yeah, Hi, family guys. Life. Well, good morning, everyone. Look at that view. And right now, I'm taking in the beautiful view. I just woke up. I put these little pixie, um, what are they? They're like a brightening, toning under eye mask thingies. So, I'm gonna make some breakfast. I'm probably gonna make some hot tea. It's really chilly out. I might like go and find a little spot like by the water and sit and do my little morning devotions. That's gonna be so nice. Also, I don't really know what our exact like plans are for the day. So it's gonna kind of be like a nice little exploring-y adventure day. Like we'll just figure it out as we go along. This is my cabin look. This is the outfit of the day. Okay, so I just got dressed. For tomorrow, I found this resort near here that has this restaurant and it like has a terrace with like a really pretty like park view. Um, and they have on the property like a bunch of hiking trails. So they were booked up today, so I couldn't get us today, but we're doing that like tomorrow to go like do the hiking and then like have the dinner at the restaurant. So today, also while looking, I found there's like a bunch of antique stores here. They have like a lot of just vintage antique stores and stuff like that, so we're going to see them today.
look at this look how pretty so we're home now and my parents just made a fire so we're back home now basically we went to trying to find a spot where the smoke won't get in my face we went to a couple of the little thrift stores around here and antique shops i actually bought some cute stuff so i took home, i came home and took a picture and like one of the things that i bought i just took one like on the steps right there but um my dad made a fire my parents are in the hot tub in the middle of the day i don't know why but um yeah so i'm probably i keep forgetting to buy hot chocolate mix all i have is hot tea but that's fine i'm gonna make some more like hot chai tea and i'm just probably gonna sit here we did buy marshmallows so i need to forge for like the perfect roasting stick and then get a knife and like sharpen it and maybe roast some marshmallows <laughs> morning day two I just had my breakfast outside by the water and I did my devotion so today the plans are kind of like a packed day I told you a little bit yesterday we have a dinner reservation on this terrace at a resort near here and there's hiking trails there but we're not going there till 5 so basically for now what we're doing so there's another hiking trail it's like 25 minutes from here and there's like a little waterfall so we're going to pack like a picnic thing we bought like a little charcuterie board okay so we've gotten change we're going out now to our first hiking trail and we're gonna have a little picnic Yay. yeah there's a little picnic basket there um we packed like little charcuterie board stuff some apples water we're gonna see the waterfall hopefully if we make it all the way there My dad is literally insane! Okay, like look at the bottom of the waterfall. It looks so crystal clear. I want to swim so bad, but it's like freezing. Okay, so we made it down. It took us a while, but that's up there where I was. Now we're down here. Okay, so as you can see, it's kind of sunset right now. As you can also see, we've changed again. We are going out to that dinner. Um, the reservation's in like 40 minutes. We can at least like walk around a little bit and have a really nice dinner. Okay, we're freaking out because we're trying to get to the place and there's bears and there's a guy on a bike and he's just like, oh, I'll get him out the way for you. What the heck is happening right now? You're opening your window, mom? There's, there are bears. They're literally bears. Oh my goodness, so we've just arrived. This is the French Manor. Look at this view. It looks like we're in Italy. You can see all the like fall treetops. This is so gorgeous. Okay, we're at dinner now. We've got some bread and wine. And look at this view that we have sitting on the terrace. Okay, so I ordered a soup and we got a couple different appetizers. It is so nice out here because it's like kind of chilly, but then they have like heaters. So it's like really, really nice. You enjoying it? This place is so pretty. It is pretty. It's so pretty. It's like very cottagey. Well, they have like a cottage house. Yes, it is her birthday. And we're literally thinking we should have stayed here. Like we're yeah. probably going to come back here eventually. Yeah. This resort is this gorgeous. Is like we had to walk past the suites to get to the restaurant and they're, they're so pretty. Hey, happy birthday, mom. Thank you. Good morning. I have to use my hand as a visor. It is so sunny. I would actually be blinded. And I'm usually a dramatic person, but that's not being dramatic. Like I actually can't see. So I'm sitting out by the water once again, having my breakfast. Usually my parents sit here with me, but today they have like a guy coming. I don't know if what is happening if they're fixing the hot tub. I have no idea, but they're inside. Um, I'm having a bagel and coffee 
which is the same breakfast I've had every day. Today's our last full day because we leave tomorrow at like 11, I think. So we don't have like definite plans yet today. Like I don't know 100% like what we're doing. We are kind of chilling out here this morning. I'm still considering taking the kayaks. I literally had to take my sweatshirt off. It's that warm today. Well, it's not actually warm. Like if I stand in the shade, it's really cold. But like for some reason, the sun is like burning me alive. Oh my gosh, I just wanna say I'm so thankful to be here. And even with the whole pandemic, like still not being able to travel, like just being able to like explore where I live is so nice because sometimes I feel like it's one of those life is always grass is greener on the other side sort of thing. It's good to just learn to be like happy where you are because like where we're vacationing right now, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, it's like literally not far from where I actually live. It was like slightly less than a two hour drive and we've never been here before. And we're like now sort of like discovering all these like beautiful places where I live. And I even like, I've always liked where I live but I never loved where I lived. And then like I sort of started asking God for forgiveness. Literally I was like praying about it. And I was like, you know what? I know that you've placed me here. This is my corner of the world that you've given me like help me to learn how to you know love where you've placed me and like you know figure out your will for me here and literally I've been like just finding all these amazing places where I live like seriously just like a, like two days before we came here we were at one of my favorite parks that I've gone to for years I go there all the time and I for some reason have never walked down this one specific street and all of a sudden, this was the same day I like did that prayer by the way, I went down the one street in the whole place that I've never turned down because I just figured it's just houses, like why would I need to go down that one street, like I come here all the time. And there was this beautiful like secret gardens connected to like this manor, oh my gosh it was amazing. I'll put up a picture because I did take a picture there, obviously it doesn't show like the gloriness of all of the gardens but I've just been like discovering little things like that and then like even this trip like it's, oh my gosh it's so amazing, it's such a blessing. To to be able to do stuff like this and just like take our car and just drive up somewhere so pretty like this definitely don't take for granted where you live travel around and find new places because even if you're like me where you like or like used to be like me and you don't like where you live there's probably some cool stuff that you're just overlooking or taking for granted like me and yeah if you live in the middle of nowhere you're definitely taking it for granted if you don't like it because that's how I was like literally two years ago. I live kind of in the middle of nowhere and I used to take it for granted and I used to be like, oh my gosh, it's so boring. I want to move to the city, which still, of course, like I love the city, but the countryside is beautiful too. And if you live in the city and you're like, oh my gosh, like I hate the city, but I want to move to the countryside. There's so many amazing things about the city. I think you just need to, you know, sort of wipe your glasses clean and just start to appreciate things that you have because if you put yourself in like another shoe that's definitely when you start to realize things that you don't have it is so oh my gosh the sun i'm like trying to have a deep conversation here and the sun is like really so it's like really bothering me okay little update so my dad and i went kayaking around the pond and we just sort of had another bonfire i almost finished a puzzle oh i didn't even like see you <laughs> i was like what um, we're about to go out to dinner. We made reservations at like the only Italian place I could find um, And we're gonna go there. It's like a 15 minute drive So we're gonna go get dinner Italian food, which is great. I was snacking on tons of crackers while doing my puzzle So I'm like not that hungry now, but Hopefully the 15 minutes it takes to get there. I'll get even more hungry. So this is what I got. I got pasta It's fettuccine Michelangelo. That's what everybody else got. I Mom got eat. fish Dad got, what'd you get? Oh, you got a steak. Got a steak. Hey, good morning, guys. Today is the last day of our vacation. I wanted to do my little outro now since we are leaving. We're already packed. This is my little fit. But yeah, I had a really fun trip. I'm really happy and like thankful that I got to do this because it's been such a long time. Gorgeous, gorgeous view. I'm going to be so sad that I don't live near a lake. <laughs> um, oh, there's ducks and everything. So sweet. So I want to end the vlog here i hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog i know it's been a while since a travel vlog don't know when the next time i'm going to be able to do one it is again but i like to do like you know casual vlogs everyday vlogs on my channel which i know you guys like so if you want to there's a lot of ducks um <laughs> Can you hear them? So if you guys want to see more vlogs, whether they're everyday vlogs or hopefully soon again we'll get to do more travel vlogs, then make sure to subscribe to my channel. Also for a lot of like fashion stuff. And um, yeah, make sure to follow me on Instagram to see more stuff from my trip because I post on stories and everyday stuff. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. I will see you in my next video.